the author of Tales from the Red Carpet, and she says, yes, absolutely, women should be able to grope men. Uh, but Mike Buchanan, he disagrees, and he is the leader of the political party Justice for Men and Boys Campaign. So, Lizzie, let me start with you. Great to have you on the show. Thank you for being here. I know you'll be back for the Entertainment Hit List on Friday, of course. But, Lizzie, on this on this uh, Aidan Turner comment, do you really think it's OK? Because surely a man could feel just as violated if a woman were to squeeze them on the bum or touch them on their private parts. How is it any different? Well, it's obviously all right with Aidan, and I have to say I know many men that don't seem to mind it. I was at a party this Sunday, a guy had a very hairy chest, and there was a queue of women, and he said, great. And it does, I do agree with Aidan, but I feel that the men, it is slightly... You're not talking about James Whale, are you, Lizzie? (laughs) My my new boyfriend, no, not James Whale. (laughs) <laughs> well, I'll have to ask him about the subject in a moment. But, 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 but Mike, Mike Buchanan, though, it, on, on a, uh, what, what do you think about what do you think about what Lizzie says? You know, men they just don't mind. They just don't mind women groping and feeling them up. I think a lot, a lot of men mind, mind it very considerably. Um, women say they want equality, but it's never equality of responsibilities, and they need to be held accountable as adults. I mean, basically, what Lizzie is arguing for here. Is, is, is an exemption for women purely on the grounds of being women. It's, it, it's, it's outrageous. But as a, as, a, you know, as a society, we, we, we don't hold women accountable for their actions in the way that we hold men accountable. And we see it, for example, um, you know, slightly off topic, but in the criminal justice system, where women get far more lenient sentences than men for the same, for the same crimes. We, we, uh, we see in domestic violence, where, where there's a huge amount of female on male domestic violence, but, but, but no support for male victims. I mean, there's an appalling double standard here, which, which Lizzie is celebrating. No, I'm, I'm actually saying this is if the individual doesn't mind and actually like age, and then like the chap that was at my party on Sunday, are quite enjoying it, what's the problem? I mean, obviously, if someone feels very uncomfortable and doesn't want it, no, no way. Well, well how would you know until afterwards? Man, so, 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 Lizzie, perhaps it's okay for men to grope women, women but if, if, if the women then complain, then stop. No, it, I mean, obviously you have to have manners and say, would you mind? I have many photos and selfies taken with certain people that ask me. And, you know, people put their arms around me and touch me. But, you know, if I'm not comfortable, I'll say so. And I just think we, we're taking things a little bit a step too far. Aidan's saying, look, he doesn't feel scared. He's quite happy. I know many women that love to touch his chest, including Lorraine Kelly and myself. But, you know, <laughs> Lorraine definitely would. She loves him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He absolutely adores him. And Mike, doesn't, Lizzie have, a, Mike, a doesn't Lizzie have a point? We're just starting to take life far too seriously. And how sad that you can't meet a celebrity now who you love and put their arm around them and maybe give their shoulder a little squeeze. Well, it will, um, yes, I think Lizzie was just talking about sort of um, um, rubbing Aidan Turner's chest. Well, how about, how about men going up to sort of female, uh, you know, TV and uh, film stars and rubbing their chests? Lizzie? But the individual, if the man doesn't mind it, I mean, there were a queue of women rubbing this guy's chest on Sunday because it was very heavy. He didn't mind at all. And it was a bit of fun. You're taking the fun out of life. If they don't mind, that's not a problem. But the, what else would you see a man in that position doing? It's, 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 it's an incredible double standard. Well, I, I think you're wrong because I think you, you really are taking things way too far. If the, if the person doesn't mind and, you know, the chaps... But, but how... Lizzie, Lizzie, how do you know... I'm sorry, but how do you know the person doesn't mind until you actually do it? Well... You've got manners. You say, would you mind? You know, I, I certainly wouldn't r- rub a man's chest without asking first. But I have to say, with Aidan's interview, um, I've already read it, I quite understand. He's quite happy. He's comfortable in his own body. He doesn't feel scared. So what's the problem? Because, Mike, isn't the, the, the point the, the, that Aidan Turner's making is that he is physically superior, even to 20 women. So he's saying that if he wants to remove himself from the situation, he can. He doesn't get scared even if he's surrounded by 20 female hands groping him all over his body. Well, he was talking, I think, here in, 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 a, in a public situation, you know, in, 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 you know in, in public. But at the end of the day, you know, surely it's about accountability. You know, sh- sh- shouldn't we be holding for a change women as accountable as adults as we do men? But if, if you feel comfortable with it... 
Lizzie, how would, you, how would you feel, Lizzie, how would you feel if the situation was reversed? I know you're obviously someone who parties a lot with lots of high-profile men. Do they ever come up and, and grab you, for example, on, on your bum? Well, yeah, I've, I've had that before, and, and then sometimes it's gone too far, and I've had to say, no, that's, that's not on. And, I, you know, I'm, I, I know when someone's gone too far. But I do think, at the moment, we are just taking the joy and fun out of life. It's like the fun police have come in and said, no, no, don't stop this. Mike, yeah, final word to you? That's, that's just absurd. I mean, that, that, you know, what, nobody would use the argument for, 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 for men groping women, that the fun police are against it. OK, well, it's a fascinating debate. That's Lizzie Cundy. She's the author of Tales from the Red Carpet. She's pro 